Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. In this video, we are going to discuss about a fantastic AI tool. So in this, you can automate your charts and graphs in your research paper. So all what you have to need is that you have to take a collect the data and make it as an Excel file. So you just upload the Excel file and select what is the type of charts or uh, graphs you want. So then AI will generate graph for you. So let us go on to today's video and explore the AI tool and how it will work out whether the content generated will be useful for our research paper or not. We will explore it. Before that an important announcement from our channel is that we are going to conduct an online workshop on research paper writing using ChatGPT and AI tool. The main objective of this workshop is to familiarize you all with different AI tools which will be useful for research paper writing. As research paper writing are uh, mostly uh, rely on AI tools, so it will be a better opportunity for you to know which AI tool is best for research paper writing. And also we are going to explore different types of research prompts in ChatGPT. So don't forget to register this online workshop. The link of the registration will be given in the description of this video. See you on our workshop. If you are interested in MATLAB software, so here is a better opportunity for you to learn basics of MATLAB software. So this is a live MATLAB workshop on from basics to advanced applications in MATLAB. In this workshop, we are going to explore basic syntax in MATLAB, how to make, uh, how to make uh, basic programming and how to make 2D and 3D plotting in MATLAB. And also we are going to explore different types of Simlink toolboxes, for example, ANFIS toolbox, Neural Network toolbox, Fuzzy Logic toolbox. And also we are going to make a live PID tuning controller for your applications in order to get decide results for your application. So these are the important perks we are going to discuss in this workshop. So don't forget to register the, uh, this online workshop. The link of the registration will be given in the description of this video. See you on our workshop. Moving on to our today's video, the AI tool what we are going to discuss today is that chart gen AI. So here you can see with chart gen AI you can create beautiful charts graphs from your data using as a little one sentence. So just to click on uh, chart gen uh, that is chart gen AI. So here you can see this is the step by step. Uh, so you can sign up. So uh, this is the option called sign up after you have signed in. So you will be getting a dashboard like this here. So you can upload your data set, describe the chart, what you want and generate chart. So here you can see, so this is the option, specify your data set. So in order to do so, I am having a random data here. So just uh, for take, taking a random data. So here you can see, so this is the random data. For example, these are the five different methods. So on their uh, corresponding data, that is convergence time, settling time, uh, GM existed power power tracking efficiency so like that you will be having five different data for five different methods so this is the excel file I am having so in this excel file I am going to upload in this particular chart gen so here you can see I am going to upload choose file so I am going to desktop again this is the file we have taken the data <coughs> So here you can see our data will be generated. So here you can see this is the data we have taken. So after that you can see you can select show me a bar chart histogram of age. So like that whatever you want you can uh, give. So for example I am going to give it as a bar chart. So after that giving what is the specification what is the type of chart you want you can give here. So after that click on generate. So it will take several seconds to generate a chart. So here you can see our chart is generated. So here you can see the convergence time and different methods are plotted. So here I am going to download this file. So here you can see. So this is how your chart is generated. So again we will explore with some other uh, chart. For example I am going to give as pie chart. So after that you can click generate. So here you can see, so this is how your pie chart will be generated. So here you can see for different methods it will be. So here you can uh, have this different methods. So in order to customize this particular image, for example, what is the convergence time? So if you, if you want to customize this image, so you can save and edit in any of the any of the tools that is for example say you can copy this image and you can edit in Microsoft Visio or even you can use Photoshop. 
so whatever you want you can create and uh, that is you can download and you can copy and paste you can customize you can name here itself so like that you can make use of this option so let us explore with some other uh, chart next time i am going to give it as a line chart so after that click generate so let us see how it will generate line chart for us so here you can see so this is how your line chart will be generated so here you can see this is line chart so after that uh, try with the, some other uh, name here i am going to give it as a scatter plot so you can name whatever you want scatter plot so and then click generate so here you can see the scatter plot will be generated and also you can see that the efficiency will be generated so like that you can make use of this chart gen a to generate chart instantly so the only thing is that you have to specify your uh, data correctly so which must be in x axis and which must be in y axis so according to that only it will generate uh, content so here uh, another option is called try random example so click random example so this is the random example so some data is given in the chart gen itself so here you can see so this is how the content will be generated as a bar chart so if he even you can change this into pie chart so group pie chart i am going to change the prompt here so you can detail your prompt also because just we have given the chart name so uh, not only you can give like this chart name so you can give it as a prompt also that is uh, draw a, uh, that is you can specify whatever you want uh, according to your need you you can customize the chart for uh, by your prompt itself by giving a proper perfect customized prompt you will get perfect results so let us see this ran how this random example will generate pie chart so here you can see this is how this random example will generate pie chart so i am going to give it as a line chart so let us see how this line chart will be generated so here you can see the line chart will be generated like this number of passengers number of siblings and spouses so zero represents uh, this blue line and one represents this uh, orange line so you can download it as a image the only thing is that you have to make your excel sheet very perfectly so and you can specify which is which must be in x axis and y axis so thereby you can get a perfect graphs and charts instantly for you so this will be very helpful especially while preparing your project report or any thesis so you must have many different tables and analysis related to your work so in order to make it as a instant graph or charts so you can make use of this in uh, that is in blick a uh, that is website and chart gen a so you can type in google so just to sign up with your mail id and you can generate your uh, that is charts instantly so this will be a better option so make use of this option to generate a better content for your research paper hope this video will be very helpful for you thank you for watching our videos have a nice day thank you